We begin with a refusal to pay. Tonight, the two largest freight railroad companies in Minnesota say they are not writing a check to Minnesota that is required under a new state law. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Folger. Kevin and Lindsay are off. This money was supposed to prepare first responders for a derailment similar to the one that happened a year ago this weekend in Raymond, Minnesota. Investigative reporter Ryan Race joins us now with why the railroads say they shouldn't have to pay up, Ryan. Well, the railroads are essentially saying it's not fair to force them to pay this money and not say truckers, for example. They also question whether it's legal. But lawmakers say they're flouting state law and refusing to fulfill their obligation. The two biggest railroads in the state, BNSF and CPKC, say they are not going to pay up. This was like a bolt out of the blue, a complete shock. And frankly, Ryan, it was really, really disappointing. State Senator Scott Dibble is one of the authors of the new state law that requires all four major freight railroads to pay about a million dollars every year. The money is meant for emergency training and preparedness, and it comes as the public is still focused on rail safety. One year ago this weekend, a BNSF train derailed in Raymond, Minnesota. And for months, Five Investigates has reported on the safety concerns from within Minnesota's largest railroad, including a former track inspector who said he was fired for reporting too many track defects. So in order to keep you from getting fired, I need to just look the other way. No, we just need to have a conversation. And now this development. According to letters sent last month, BNSF and CPKC say they are committed to safety, but they're not going to pay the roughly million-dollar bill, insisting the state law is preempted by federal law. What's your reaction to that? Well, I think that's hogwash, for starters. I mean, the Class 1 railroads are always resisting any efforts we make towards public safety improvements for their industry by citing federal preemption. They're almost always wrong, and I'm sure they're wrong in this case as well. The rail companies referred us to the Minnesota Regional Railroads Association. The group says train accidents in Minnesota are down 46 percent, and the railroads already trained first responders. And that's why railroads voiced their opposition to the state's fee, questioning its legality. It's extremely frustrating. It, it speaks of a, a corporate culture of arrogance and disregard. The concern from state lawmakers is shared by the U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. He recently sent a letter to the Association of American Railroads calling the trajectory of the safety performance of major railroads unacceptable. He called on railroads to work with regulators to improve safety. And, Paul, by the way, I asked Senator Dibble what's next if the railroads still refuse to pay this fee. He said likely court. Mm, okay, quite a standoff. We'll Ryan keep on Rich. it. You will, I know. Thank you.